In we go. Burmaya is a lush frontier world ideal for colonization by carbon based species. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infantry. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them up. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Nice. We got a clean drop, Commander. I don't care. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Okay. Alright, I leveled up at the end of the last mission, so let's deal with that. Dragon drones, no! Come on, just die! Come on! There we go! Nice leisurely stroll through the exotic areas while well, shooting down some geth drones and running over some weird crustacean creatures. Around here, guys. There we go. It's clipping through the mango. We, we gotta kill it. Can't tell if they've destroyed the Mako or not. Oh shit, they're pretty close. Um, so I'm gonna have to do some repairs. Okay, oh, yep. I know something's happening. My signal's been jammed. Shit, reverse, reverse. Hide, 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 hide. It is safer for me to go in on foot. Alright! Shoot, 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 shoot! That's that drone down. That guy down. Oh! Nice. Them then? Yeah, that's that's them all. Let's just shoot down these areas. Or maybe not shoot down these areas. Yeah, okay. Uh, back to the Mako. Okay, so let's continue with the bone hat. There we go. That that the trick. Squashing more crustaceans. 
and heading on our way. Yeah. Oh, there's more of them. I leveled up. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's do this level up. And we're back. Let's get going. Oh, it's Colossus. I can take it out. Whee. Come on, come on, come on, I can beat you. I can beat you. There we go. One arm which down. Time to take out the other. There we go. That's two arm which is down. And I, I actually think there's too much damage to the Mako to actually use it now, so. But uh, yeah. This is going to get sped up, guys, because this is going to take some time. I get back in the I'm going to be sent back to the beginning of the mission. It's got to take a lot of damage.
I noticed. And it only took us like three years to walk. Yeah, it's all those people that hate the maker. This is why I love the maker. It's really quick and convenient, regardless of how clunky his controls can be. Oh, no. There's more gas. Alright, up we go. There must be a way to shut that gun down. Go kill them. Come on. I'm on critical health. Go out there and... Why are you using... A sniper rifle, Garris? You're not trained for it. You're trained for the assault rifle. You use the shotgun. What you train for? Well, at least I can finally heal and open this crate. That's our target. Uh, secure weapons lock. Let's go. Some new shotguns and a new assault rifle. Sweet. Oh, okay. Generator still active, gate override offline. Alright, bye bye. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to continue on your mark, Commander. Good, because now is for another really, really long trek without the maker. Oh, this one's this is gonna be slow. It's gonna be so infuriating. So to get that's get Oh uh, yeah. Look at me out here sniping them with a pistol. Sniping with a pistol. I, I, I missed practically every shot. No! No! Oh, no! No! Fucking died. No! I'm right at the beginning again. Oh, this can't be happening. No, for, for fuck's sake. Oh, no. Sucks.
Whew. Well, that didn't take so long the second time around. Mainly because, you know, I didn't let the Mako get in such bad shape. That's it. Nothing between us and the Sumerian camp now. Well, that's good. Open this crate. New shotgun, new sniper rifle. Well, that's it. Onwards! Finally! Oh. You know, Vermeer is a very pretty place. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. What? No one grounds me. I'm a specter. I do what I want, I go where I want. There's the kid. And here we are. Finally! So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Oh, well, fuck. That's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. And I'm what you're getting. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. And what type of research, What's man? Saren researching? Get to the point. He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. Okay. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Uh-huh. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Not your problem, man. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Sweet. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Just drop it. He'll be fine. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. Oh, where's Rex? Here we go, let's calm the big guy down. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. 
The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. <laughs> You're an idiot, Rex. I don't care what your personal feelings are. This base gets destroyed. Don't push me, Shepard. I followed you because I wanted to fight for something more than credits. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. All you need to know is that I'm giving you an order to fall in line. That's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Um, and I don't want to shoot you, mate, so... Sarah doesn't care about these Krogan. They're tools, puppets. He'll destroy them as soon as they're no longer useful to him. Is that what you want for your people? No, we were tools from the Council once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Sweet, there we go. It's the Ara and some random soldier. Your ability to cut the yes, yes it is. Uh, now. Let's see. It's the Normandy. Right, I've calmed down, Rex. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Okay, okay. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. That sounds like a job for me. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Yeah, but it's cool. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. Yeah, cool. Cool. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. Huh. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? <laughs> uh, yeah, so who do you need? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Yeah, take Ashley. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? No, no, let's go. Let's, let's get this done. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Oh, oh, there's some juicy hair. Uh, what is it? Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Yeah, let's kick ass! Whatever happens, everyone just keep shooting. 
We go in hard, hit him harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the other side. You bet, Commander. <laughs> 